Okay, I got a question from C.R. Gravitz. Um, he, or she, I think it's a he, asks, uh, what do I miss the most? Uh, what do I not miss that I, that I guess I would have expected to miss? Um, I miss um, technology. I've got a lot of technology out here, but, uh, you know, it's kind of nice being able to just jump online and see what's going on in the world instantly, getting constant updates. Um, and, of course, stepping away from all that was... Uh, Part of the point of, of being out here is kind of slowing down and stepping away um, from the day-to-day -day, uh, din of technology. Um, but um, I miss that. I miss being able to um, download uh, more software. Uh, I realized that I, I don't have a program I needed. It's just a small program, but uh, I think I have it on a hard drive somewhere. But I was like, oh, you know, I, I can't just go online and grab it. Um, normally I could. Um, so... My uh, dog's whining. I'm not sure why, but uh, I'll figure out why. Uh, so I miss that. Um, what do I not miss? I don't miss um, food. I mean, uh, you know, fancy foods. It, I don't care. I mean, I'm just not... Uh, it doesn't matter to me, really. I'm, I'm very content or maybe just distracted with other things. Um, so um, that's, uh, that's cool. I, I miss my friends. Um... I miss uh, the film community in uh, in Anchorage. I worked with a lot of really good people, shooting uh, short films and, and some bigger films. Um, got to work on a couple movies this year and last, and that was a lot of fun. Uh, a couple big name stars. Um, I miss doing photo shoots. Um, I do a lot of photo shoots with uh, local models, and uh, you know we just did some fun stuff. Um, we maybe uh, just do very creative and surreal photography, uh, you know, either downtown kind of shoot everything at a weird angle, or do like a, a crime scene, or uh, just do something that uh, maybe have all the models, you know, floating in midair. Um, it's kind of fun to take a shot, and uh, people look at it and say, it's beautiful, and then they're like, wait, how did you even do that? That doesn't exist um, in the real world. So that's kind of fun. I, I do miss that a lot, but I'll, I'll make up for that in, in uh, when I get back, if I have time. I, I hope, hopefully I will. Um, I'm also doing a lot of writing of scripts right now, so... Um, I got a couple short films I want to shoot when I get home, and uh, I think that's going to be a lot of fun. So um, I miss that. Um, but yeah, let's see. I don't miss, uh, you know, fast food. I don't miss, um, I don't know, the rush of uh, normal life. Um, right now, the, the isolation and, and being away from people isn't that bad. Um, I think that may affect me more later. And I've had a few weird, uh, weird things going on due to the isolation, but um, nothing too crazy. I think uh, I may feel differently in six months, but uh, maybe not. Overall, I'm still pretty happy, um, and uh, I think I'm adjusting well. I think people have uh, an amazing resilience and ability to uh, adjust to things. Um, I watched a uh, documentary um, called This Emotional Life, where a psychologist from Harvard um, would... Uh, interview people, celebrities, regular people, people, um, you know, dealing with post-traumatic stress disorder or, you know, marriage problems or, um, just, uh, you know, a wide variety of things and, and kind of talk to them and see how, how it affected them. And in one segment, um, they talked to a young man who, uh, you know, everything was going great in his life. And then he, he got in an accident and was paralyzed and, uh, kind of looked at, uh, you know, what, um, how happy are you now compared to how happy were you? And uh, their conclusion was that overall it's about the same. Uh, you kind of have a set point of, of happiness, I guess, um, as long as your basic needs are getting met. I mean, obviously, if you don't have food, you're, you're not going to be real happy. But, uh, you know, my basic needs are being met out here. Um, I have uh, shelter and food and water. I have uh, the freedom to sleep every, you know, enough every night, which is just wonderful. Um, um, I think really the only thing I don't have, one is comfort, um, and I don't really, I don't miss that. It'd be nice to, you know, have hot water on demand. Um, it'd be nice to have things not bite me all the time or be concerned about, uh, you know, a bear running out of the woods right now and attacking me. Um, uh, but that stuff doesn't bother me that much, um, because you just kind of acclimate to it and it goes away. Um, but I do, uh, I think I will miss my friends more and more as time goes by. Um, or maybe I won't, maybe I'll just acclimate to that as well, but, uh, I don't know, that's kind of, uh, part of the journey and part of the, uh, the experience, so, uh, I, uh, I'll 
keep filming and take you all along with me. Good question.